Hey guys, it's me, Carrie, and as usual, it is feast or famine here at Butterfly's Landing. Um, I either shoot like three or four videos in a day, or sometimes I'll go like a week and not shoot anything. But today happened to be a good mail day, so um, I have an unbagging, I guess technically you would call this. This is a subscription service, and it is called Pip Sticks. It is for stickers, and um, my friend Anna posted um, that she had purchased um, last month's subscription, so I decided to give it a try because through Anna's code I was able to save $5 off a subscription, which is a super savings. This particular one I chose, I don't remember the technical name for it, but I think there's ones for adults and ones for kids, and this was the adults for whatever difference that makes. Normally it would have been $15, but with um, Anna's discount code, it was only $10, and that includes shipping. So I have a feeling this is probably going to just be a one-off thing for me. I happen to have 10 bucks, and I said, you know what, I'm going to treat myself. But um, yeah, $15, it's probably going to be out of my budget, and um, it'll be one of those things like Kawaii Box or anything else where I do it once in a while as I find I have a little extra cash or, you know, want to buy myself something or somebody wants to buy me something as a gift. But um, I figured for a one-time deal it would be fun to try. So anyway, this is the packaging it comes in. I'm just covering my dress off. This is the back. It's really cute. It says, stick them up. Adorable. So anyway, um, let's open it up and see what's inside. It's like a little plastic. You can actually save the baggie, I guess, if you wanted to, which nothing really special about it, I don't think. I think it's just a clear bag. Yeah, this packaging is like it's inside the part with like these pretty little triangles on it. But let me get this stuff out. Okay, now the address is safely hidden away so we can take a good look, but that's how it looks on the front. It says Pip Sticks. It's got the website. It says airmail, let's stick together. Really, really cute little folder thing that it comes in. And of course, I'm going to try to open this so carefully so that I can save the stick em up sticker because that's how we roll around here. Why well, throw away anything that could potentially be salvaged? Uh, let me see if I can do it. Let's see if I'm patient enough to do it. And. No, it's tearing, so, oh well. I was going to try, but it's not really opening very well, so, say la vie. Okay, I'm not even sure exactly what you're supposed to get in here, so we will discover this together. Okay, so yeah, that's just the packaging. Really cute. Okay, the colors of the rainbow are so pretty in the sky. So pretty in the sky are also on the faces of people passing by. Aww. And of course, that is from Louis Armstrong's What a Wonderful World. That's adorable. And then you've got like the little raindrops on the back and Louis Armstrong's name. I forgot you do get a postcard, so that's frameable, which is really precious. And that's a beautiful song and a great quote. And then you also get a postage paid postcard here, which is nice that you could send to, I guess, whoever you would like to. I like that. That's really, really cool. Let's see, what else did we get here? Okay, this is, okay, this is like a little club. It's got um, hearts on the back. And then it's like a little newsletter type dealio. So it tells you all about, I'm assuming, how the club works and what goodies you get inside. I don't really want to look at that yet because I want to be surprised. But um, I will post my referral code at the bottom, assuming that I get one. <laughs> I mean, my friend Anna did that I used. So if you did want to make a purchase, I would certainly love to pass on the $5 savings to you on your subscription. So um, anyway, fortunately, these are upside down. So we can really be surprised together and look at the sheets. Okay, this first sheet is precious. This looks kind of like an old school Winnie the Pooh, even though it's not supposed to be Pooh Bear, it's just a bear eating honey out of a honey pot, but there's like a little deer and an owl. These are really, really sweet, and they've got gold accents. Some of them have words. One of them says, keep loving me with a bunny. Another one says, thinking of you always with a little bird, and one says, you are special to me with a bunny, and they all have like these sparkly, there you can kind of see better, the sparkly gold accents. Those are really, really pretty. I like those. I don't really think I have anything like this. They almost feel not they're not vellum but they almost feel like a thicker vellum like really smooth and matte and I like them a lot so they're really pretty next up we have 
how appropriate. As you guys know, I have a thing for stars, and my Twitter and um, Instagram handle is at Persevering Star because I am always persevering through life. But anyway, so how appropriate that I got rainbow stars. Those are super, super cute. I really like them too. Next up, I wonder if like colors or like the you know rainbows are like the theme of this I don't know if there's even monthly themes or whatever but I have these really pretty crowns and these are all in rainbow colors these are again kind of like vellum almost like flat and um really smooth I really really like these they're very pretty they look like crowns but then they also in a way like look like side profiles of swans don't they kind of like that's the head and then the body and the tail and then they're going the other way. Maybe they are supposed to be. I don't know if they're supposed to be swans or crowns, but I guess they could be either one. Use your imagination. So those are really cute. I know there's with some bitty sticker sheets that come inside too. Okay, these all just say yay. Not so useful, but I guess if you were like a, like a planner person and you wanted to like stick them on days that you have things to celebrate, that would be kind of cute. I'll find a use for them. I mean, I don't really need all yay. I would have preferred it had they been like different, like fun expressions, but they're cute. My least favorite so far though, for sure. Okay, next up we have, oh, these are really cute. Okay, we've got these really pretty sparkly silver clouds. And yeah, I'm going to give you like the full impact of the sparkliness. These are really, really pretty. I like these a lot, actually. So those are cool. Okay, next up we have, oh, this is sweet. It just says, be happy. And that is definitely advice that I need to heed because I have... Obviously, as you know, if you've been watching this channel at all before today, um, I suffer from pervasive depressive disorder and anxiety. That is a medical mental illness diagnosis. So being happy is hard for me. So this will be a nice reminder. Next, we have another teeny tiny little sheet. These are actually really cute. Oh my gosh. Sticka transparent stickers. And there's like this cute little guy with the little mustache and the sombrero. Hola, como esta? We've got the little cactus here in the corner. Let me do, let me do this so you can see them better. Hold on. Okay, now you can get a better look at the designs. But yeah, these are really kind of cute. They're fun. I like the kitty too. They're very sweet. And next up we have... These really these say heat a sticker, a little moment that will be remembered forever, version two. <laughs> but these are sweet little kind of kawaii stickers here. They're very precious. And they're clear backgrounds. I like them. They're very pretty. I don't know. There's just something very sweet and innocent about them. Cute little rosy cheeked kids. How can you not like that? So those are very pretty. We have another itty bitty sheet here. Oh, how cute. They're all different popsicles. Those are adorable. Those are really, really cute. I, I just, um, oh, I got a, um, Toosie Baby and Pet the other day that the background looked like bomb pops, like these type of popsicles. I was trying to think why I was thinking of bomb pops, but yeah, and remember these classic twin ones, Creamsicles, one of my favorites to this day. Those are really, really cute. Next up we have... Oh, these are sweet. Oh, I love these. Again, I will put up the little white background so that you can see because it's transparent. But um, look at all these adorable little woodland creatures. Bears and foxes and deer and swans and all kinds of sweet, sweet, sweet little forest animals and little trees and fun things you would find in the forest those are really really cute I like these stickers because they're not common like I've never really seen stickers like these I mean except for maybe like the stars like if you look at like say Michael's or Joanne's or whatever you know they have a lot of stickers and um you know you find the same types of stickers lots of places but these are more unusual I actually if I could afford to I would continue the subscription because this is actually pretty fun um, next up we have oh, 
Gee, butterflies, your butterflies landing, how appropriate. I actually have some of these already. These are made by Sandy Lion, but that's just really kind of funny and awesome that I got these. So yeah, those are super cute too. Okay, these I'm intrigued by, let's say. Oh, shut up. How cute is he? Oh my gosh, he's adorable. He is absolutely precious. I love him. And there's another one like that. Oh, and then there's this guy too. These are so stinking adorable. I have no idea where I'm going to put them, but I want to find someplace really special because those are so, so cute. Maybe on a journal cover or something. They are really adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay. <gasps> it's like they know the things that I love. Now we've got owls, which are right up there at like my favorite animal list. I, my very favorite are manatees, but I love, love, love penguins and owls as well. So that is really cool. And butterflies, but obviously butterflies are not animals. But those are so sweet. I love them. I love them. I love them. And then we got two more little goodies here. We have these. Oh, how funny. I lived in Florida for eight years. So yes, I've seen my fair share of pink flamingos, but these are actually quite cute. And these are, um, again, almost like vellum type stickers, very um, matte finish and like a sheer background. But yeah, really, really cute. And last but not least, we have, ooh, how did you guys know that my favorite color is sky blue? I mean, this is a little bit more of a periwinkle almost. Not, not periwinkle, but it's darker. It's a little deeper than a sky blue. But these, again, are super glittery hearts. And I really, really love them. So all together, I mean, if you count each thing as a sheet, which technically it is, even the itty bitty ones, you get one, two, three, four, and if you count these as sheets, technically, I guess, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Even if you don't count them as sheets, just count them as individual items. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So it actually works out to be like on average, if you went at the normal $14.95, I think it is $14.95 um, subscription price for this um, particular uh, subscription, <laughs> it would be um, just under a dollar per item. But because I got the discount code for my friend, it was only $10 for me. So, and then, oh, well, then technically, of course, you've got to also factor in the beautiful quote card that's totally frameable and really, really pretty. And the postcard that is postage paid to send to whoever you like. And then you get this little raffle ticket. So I'm assuming there's some sort of a monthly raffle that they do. I'm just going to take a quick peek inside this little brochure thing now and see what the deal is with that. Okay, keep your ticket. Each month you'll find a ticket in your sticker pack. Keep it. This is your entry into this month's raffle. The winning ticket will be announced in the following month's newsletter. If you have the winning ticket, send us a pic of the number to claim your prize. Cross your fingers and go to pipsticks.com to see what you could win. Okay, the only bad problem with that is that I'm going to be canceling the subscription because I can't afford to purchase it again next month. So I'm hoping that my friend Anna will be continuing to get the subscription. And if so, she can check the number and see if my number happens to be the winner because... I would hope then that I would still get the prize, but I don't know. I don't know technically how that works. I would love to continue this. I mean, it's like Hawaii Box. I would love to get that every month, but, you know, I'm not made of money. I'm not sponsored. So, you know, I do what I can when I can. I love the idea of reviewing different um, subscription boxes and bags and stuff for you guys. But um, without sponsorship, being a small channel, I, I obviously don't make a penny doing YouTube. Um, it makes it a little bit difficult, but... Um, you know, it is what it is, but I really, I do like this subscription. I think it's a lot of fun, and um, somewhere down the line, you know, if I have a few extra bucks, I would certainly be open to giving it another try. So, um, again, I will post my um, referral link at the bottom, which I'm assuming I can get if I go to the website, um, and uh, it won't so much help me in this instance because I'm going to be canceling, but it will definitely help you guys because it's $5 off any subscription that you want to try, so... Um, 
I will share that for you, of course, because I want you guys to save as well. But anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. Um, thank you, Anna, for sharing your uh, subscription uh, referral code with me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will be back soon with more stuff. Bye, guys.